Nevada lawmakers took their first big step today towards regulating the state's marijuana industry with a comprehensive bill to govern everything from fees to deliveries. We're talking about Assembly Bill 533 was sought by Governor Steve Sisolak, who has seen marijuana businesses just explode at the local level when he served on the Clark County Commission. Politics now. Co-host Steve Sibelia is stepping in now. He has been following the bill closely. Hi there, Steve. Well, first of all, you guys, we have to stop calling it marijuana. We can't call it any, uh, anymore. Uh, at least the state does, because <laughs> under AB 533, the word marijuana will be replaced throughout the state's law books with the word cannabis. That's why the board that will regulate the drug and an advisory commission set up to study it will both have the word cannabis in their title. But that's just scratching the surface of what this 160-page bill actually does. The bill transfers the authority to regulate marijuana to the new Cannabis Compliance Board, much the same way day-to-day -day gambling regulations in Nevada are overseen by the Gaming Control Board. In fact, the gaming regulation model paved the way for much of marijuana regulations. Now, the board could audit marijuana businesses, ensure that people who own more than 5% become registered agents, and even regulate deliveries of marijuana to customers. The board would hire cannabis enforcement agents who would be peace officers under Nevada law. Now, Steve Yeager, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, says the bill is the result of trips around the country to see mar marijuana regulations in practice. Because all of those fact-finding missions and all of that research culminates today in Assembly Bill 533, which ensures that Nevada will remain at the forefront of responsible regulation when it comes to cannabis. With this legislation, Nevada will continue to be the model for other states about how to do this and how to do it right. As much as I might like to plan and attend another fact-finding mission, I think those days are likely over. With this legislation, with this regulatory model, Nevada will be the destination for fact-finding delegations from other states. In fact, Bryn Gibson, the general counsel to Governor Sisolak, said he believes the bill will lend legitimacy to the industry via regulation, the way gaming regulation in Nevada eventually transformed the casino industry into an accepted American pastime. One final note, the bill would also allow but not require the Cannabis Compliance Board to accept applications for marijuana lounges subject to certain conditions. You may recall the city of Las Vegas, however, has already set up an application process. They didn't wait for state authority. Now, this was just the first big hearing from the bill. It still has to be approved by the committee and the full assembly before being sent over to the Senate. And because it includes fees, it's going to require a two-thirds vote. Now, even though it's late in the session, uh, this bill uh, has a lot of support in, the, in both houses of the legislature. So I think there's a good chance it's going to pass by June 3rd, which is the final deadline. Mm, okay. Thank you for that update on cannabis. And cannabis lounges. Yes. Not that's right. Not that other word. Hey, I can say it. They can't. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Thanks, Thanks Steve. <laughs>